welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to do this restaurant week vlog because I love to eat and I don't know, oh shit. Anyways y'all, like I was saying in the house, sorry. I'm just so excited to be doing this vlog for you guys because I really, really love food and I don't feel like I share that enough with you guys. We don't go enough places together and we don't eat together and I think that that's so rude of me. I've never done restaurant week. My mom and I have been talking about it forever. Every year it comes around, she's like, oh, it's restaurant week. I'm like, okay, so we have to go try mad restaurants and time and life just gets away from us. But this year, I'm like, I'm doing it. I'm going to the one today. We're going to Catch NYC, Joy picked that one and then my boo we didn't pick where we're going as yet but we're going to one I told my older sister to pick a place but she hasn't really been you know too on top of it so I don't know if we're really gonna end up going but yeah y'all I'm excited cuz like I said I love my belly and if you don't know what restaurant week is restaurant week is a week where some of the most prestigious like hard to get in very expensive restaurants they create like a prefix menu where you can have dinner for $60 at their place you can have brunch for 30 45 like I haven't seen more than 60 or 70 dollars yeah if you are somebody who you don't got to, you don't go out to eat or you have expensive taste but you don't got you know expensive taste money restaurant week is for you it's for us okay especially if you're somebody who loves to eat out but that shit adds up very quickly yeah this is great for you because you can have $30 brunch somewhere, $60 dinner, $75 dinner, and you can have a whole experience. You can take your taste buds all over the world. Period. In New York! <laughs> Okay, model gal have to take our pictures. So, we still have about like 30 minutes until our reservation, so we are chilling in the city. <laughs> the lighting is so terrible out here, but I'm so excited, you guys. Looking worse than that. <laughs> Exactly what I told you, man. Look. I don't know what you mean, I can't. Joy got her drink. It looks so cute. Kinda. This is my drink. I just got a cherry lemonade, y'all. Caviar. <laughs> got the cheap one. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> What we enjoyed most from this meal has to be the sashimi that we had in the beginning and trying caviar for the first time. The fries were also really good, but you really can't mess up truffle fries, and if you do, you don't know what you're doing. The salmon with the crispy rice was really good. It was really fresh, but the flavor of that sashimi in the beginning, even the other sushi that we had, did not beat that sashimi in the beginning. We had also gotten some lobster mac and cheese, but there was nothing mac and cheese or lobster about it, so we were very confused. We probably couldn't really judge the taste because you know what we were expecting versus what we got was just so different these portions were also really really freaking tiny they told us that it was stuff to share and then gave us like five dumplings one person each i just i was confused but the dessert was good and we had a good time and my little sister ended up freaking out because j cole bro <laughs> like that's j cole like he is a fucking like <sighs> no bro because they be you know they be like celebrities or whatever and they be like okay you famous but like, J. Cole is famous cause like, he's actually fucking inspirational and shit. Like, yeah. He makes fucking great ass. Yeah, Mixie is freaking out on my phone right now. Did, did Bro! That's his favorite, oh his God. favorite, um... Oh my yeah. Hello, you guys! How are y'all doing? It's been a couple of days! This vlog is making me so... Ooh, my mouth just farted. 
Does that happen to y'all? Do y'all mouths be farting? Or is it just me? My, my, my mouth is just extra juicy. It's been a couple days since we went to the last restaurant. Well, the first restaurant of our restaurant week vlog. I decided that I'm going to voice over for you guys when I'm in the actual restaurant because I just don't want to disturb other people's dining experiences by trying to yell over the music. I don't want to have to deal with copyright. I don't want to deal with none of that shit. I'm going on a little daty date with my boyfriend. <laughs> we are going to, um... Juelan, Juelan, I don't know how you say it, it's fancy, I went on the website, 50 Cent went there, celebrities that I don't even know are celebrities went there. Y'all know that we saw J. Cole at Catch, so I wonder if we're gonna see anybody today. I knew that Restaurant We gave you access to restaurants that are a little bit more higher end and more expensive, but I didn't know it was like celebrity higher end like and expensive, so I'm a little bit, you know, curious as to who we're probably gonna see and I definitely want to make this a thing like next restaurant week I want to pick a few restaurants and go on dates with my friends because I love to eat my friends love to eat my family loves to eat so why not take advantage when we went to catch we were supposed to order from the restaurant week menu but we didn't end up doing that because we were more interested in, in the stuff that wasn't on the restaurant week menu which I probably knew was gonna happen I think today we're gonna stick to the restaurant week menu my only thing also is these portions I like a lot of food okay last restaurant we went to this man talking about how they their entrees and stuff are made to share and then it come with four pieces of something upon it I am currently waiting for my boyfriend to get home to finish getting dressed and then we're gonna head out so I'm gonna see y'all when we hit the road and we are on our way to Zueland <laughs> it's right here <laughs> Y'all, my boyfriend kept calling this freaking place Jew Land, so I don't know what the hell the name of this place is. Can y'all please tell me what the pronunciation is in the comments if you know? The portions here were 10 times better than at Catch. The only thing was, there was nothing that had such a beautiful flavor that made me think, yes, I have to come back here. I really liked the rock shrimp though. The texture was the best that I've ever had, but the flavor wasn't outstanding. It was pretty much like every other rock shrimp that you have, but my boyfriend, he was in love. He was killing it. He ate mine and his. Yeah. What is it though? It's sandwich. Um, crispy rice. I'm trying to figure out if I like crispy rice or not. I'm going to have to try it a couple more times to get back to y'all. These noodles taste like sesame oil, which I don't have a problem with. They were okay. Nothing outstanding. The salmon was perfectly cooked. The teriyaki was just a little bit bitter, but I actually did like it with the rice. Don't get me wrong, y'all. This food was actually really good, even at Catch, but I just have really high hopes for these high-end restaurants, you know? Boo, on the other hand, y'all, he was eating this food up. He had little to no complaints. He enjoyed everything that we got except for the lo mein. He said it was given Chinese food regular lo mein. And the shrimp in the lo mein wasn't seasoned from what it tastes like. So that was not really a hit for us, but he loved it all. He was eating it up. Do you think I deserve a second date? What? Well, what I gotta do to get to take you out again, shorty? <laughs> oh, baby, this dessert was the star of the show, though. This creme brulee and these fruits hit the spot. I ate the whole damn thing, and Boo ate the whole of his, too, and he don't usually eat stuff like this. It was amazing. That was the star of the show. That is what we paid. Thank you.